God did not leave us in the dark as to the possibility of obtaining promises and making requests. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 33. Hebrews 11, 33. Who through faith, the Bible says, subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises. We can obtain promises in the place of prayer. Mark chapter 11 from verse 23 and 24. Jesus is teaching on prayer. And he said, verse 24 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, it says, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, 24, it says, Believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. We can obtain promises. We can make requests in the place of prayer. Jonah chapter 2. When I was studying this, I started laughing. I said, Jonah, what an interesting man. Jonah gave us a revelation that you can pray anywhere. The hardest place to pray. I'm not sure there is anywhere as difficult as the belly of the fish. There is no space yet he prayed and God had it. So Jonah's life is a, is a big revelation for us. You don't have any excuse as far as convenience is concerned to pray. Jonah prayed in the belly of the fish. Jonah chapter 2 and verse 2. Very quickly. I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord. Jonah is speaking. And he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I. And thou heardest my voice. Verse 3. For thou had cast me into the deep and in the midst of the seas. And the floods come past me about. Thy billows and thy waves pass over me. Uh-huh. It says, then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again towards thy holy temple. We're reading down to 9 or 10. Next verse, please. Verse 5. The waters come past me about, even to the soul. The depth closed me round about, and weeds were wrapped about my head. I went down to the bottom of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me forever, yet thou hast thou brought up my life from corruption oh lord my god he's praying now verse 7 he says when my soul fainted within me i remembered the lord and my prayer came in unto thee into thy holy temple from the belly of the fish verse 8 he says they that observe lying vanities forget their own mercy verse 9 but i will sacrifice unto thee the voice of thanksgiving I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. The result, verse 10. And the Lord spake unto the fish. God doesn't speak to men alone. He speaks to things. And the Lord spake unto my trouble. Ah, that a man was praying. And God now said, fish, keep that scripture please. The Lord spake unto the fish and it vomited out Jonah upon dry ground. When the creator speaks, everything he created has the capacity to hear him. But it does not just hear him because he wants to speak. In the belly of the fish, a man showed you can change situations. I can't do anything about the fish, but I can interact with the creator. He can tell that fish to do something it must obey prayer is powerful listen when you pray there are times that it's not just the mountain you speak to the mountain is bigger than you so you speak to the one who is bigger than the mountain and he will do the speaking to the mountain the bible says god spoke to the fish i wonder what he told the fish but one thing i know is that the fish had and the fish vomited jonah on dry ground It's been three days, he stinketh, and he says, roll away the stone. You have requested, and now you will see me as the resurrection and the life. And he said, Lazarus. You know why he called his name? 
if he said come forth every dead person would have come out he had to pick the one because that word was going to enter the realm of the spirit if he just said come forth that would be rapture already immediately immediately so he had to pick the name listen do you know why i'm telling you this that means god is aware of every situation he can call it by name and instruct it and it must obey retrogression the master speaks he says go to a street that divides you will see a code that no man has touched he said lose it if any man dares to ask you don't say you are losing it you don't have that power tell them the master had need of it we can obtain promises petitions can be made in the place of prayer luke chapter 18 the bible says he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray by the way I, I didn't want to distract the service but let's just appreciate pastor jerry amazing hallelujah god bless you we'll have some time to greet him after the service praise the name of the lord very powerful promises obtained in the place of prayer john chapter 16 and verse 24 jesus made it because it means that you are declaring self-sufficiency petitions ask and you shall receive that your joy may be complete now let me share with you a mystery james chapter 4 james chapter 4 please apostle james is teaching us something very powerful here here's what he says from whence cometh war and fighting among you he says come they not hence even from the lost that war in your members we're reading to verse 3 verse 2 he says ye lost that means ye desire strongly and have not you even go to the extent of killing because you desire to have and cannot what obtain ye fight and war yet ye have not and the simple reason why you have not is that you ask not in other words he's saying why all the jealousy why all the bitterness i am a giver to all men why do you have to go to the extent of making trouble and fighting and being jealous whereas all that you needed to do was to ask this is powerful that means the reason why when your brother is increasing when your sister is going forward are we together when someone's business is thriving it is not a cause for jealousy and pain he's saying it is unnecessary i am a giver to all who ask that the same energy it takes to fight and quarrel and backbite and be jealous is the same energy that can be invested in asking and you will also receive there is a side effect to not praying your life will be full of jealousy and envy and bitterness you know people that do not pray because they do not have results and the moment you they do not have results the side effect is jealousy bitterness and james is teaching us that there is a structure in the kingdom for all to have their prayers answered Is she the only one who will have a job why five jobs when i have the only one do you know if i was one of the brothers of joseph i won't be angry with joseph i will go to the father is that true you gave him the coat of many colors i know you are father to us all where is my own version of the coat it's very simple so that you now allow the father prove whether it's favoritism or not but they turn and threw joseph inside a well Ye have not because ye ask not. Ye have not because ye ask not. So I can ask in prayer and I can receive. This is a very powerful message of hope. Do not underestimate what can come into your life when you know how to pray. Supernatural dimensions of blessings and promises when you know how to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 